go. Hello everyone. Uh, another edition of video notes from Brandon and Brandon. So we have some updates for you, but I wanted to start with something because some of the updates are coming via email. It made me remember or think maybe we haven't talked about a couple of things. <clears throat> One is our corporate structure. So we have a holding company um, over our companies and the name of that holding company is Hagen Johnson Group. Um, Teresa just today sent out the invitations for the Christmas party from an email that is titled uh, companywide at hagenjohnsongroup.com. Um, you should have that in your email inbox and a note on that in a second, but um, please open that up. At the bottom of the invitation, there is a link you have to fill out that you are coming because we want you there. Um, and then uh, who you're bringing with you if you're bringing someone with you. Otherwise, um, that's it there. Look forward to seeing you. And um, <clears throat> okay, so a moment on the email. Everyone in our group of companies down here in Janesville has their own email address, everyone. Um, everyone that works for Hagen Trucking has the way, the, the, the convention of your email address is your first name initial and then your last full name at Hagen Trucking. So Brandon's is obviously bwoolen at hagentrucking.com. That's everyone at Hagen Trucking with the exception of Maurice. Um, we just haven't uh, crossed paths whereby um, Carmen down the road has uh, come down and gotten you switched over to at Hagen Trucking. So Maurice, yours is the only one that's different. It's um, at um, CorthJanesville.com. And then obviously the tank wash is at, at Tank Wash, but same thing, first initial of first name and then last name. At Hagen Tank Wash. At Hagen Tank Wash. Sorry, thank you, Brandon. <clears throat> so that takes care of the company structure, the the Christmas party, the emails. Um, the next thing, you, I, I believe Brandon talked to you uh, at one point or another about an update about us w looking to work with a company that does HR work for small companies like us to to basically assist us because HR is a, is a really big it's a really human resources is a really huge function that is critical you have to have it right so the name of that company is Empower I think we've discussed that one of the things that happens when you do an HR one or it's just this time of year where we are um, going back to health insurance renewals we started that process with Empower first of all we we are going with Empower. Um, so I don't know the, the changes that you'll see with Empower aren't, they're actually going to be beneficial from the standpoint of, we will have phone numbers for you, people to contact at any time when you have HR questions and these people are experts in the field. This is what they do. So I'm very excited about that. Back to the health insurance thing. So Empower provided us some health insurance, health insurance quotes. We weren't completely satisfied with them. We have been extremely satisfied with our property casualty liability um, trucking insurance provider, um, H&I. They're the agent for us. They also do health insurance. So we just met with them today and we are wanting to have them take a look at our health, at health insurance options for us, for everyone as an employee group. In order to do that, we are going to be sending out an email to you, to your email address, and the, the, there's, a, there's two attachments on the email. One of them is called um, Form Fire. Basically what it is, is it's a, question, it's a health questionnaire for you. If you are a person that's waiving uh, the health insurance coverage, you still need to fill it out, but it's maybe like a 10 minute fill out. If you are a person, anyone else that's accepting coverage, that is filling it out. It could take up to, if you have a family of six or something, it might take up to 40 minutes. So I just want you to have a, a realistic expectation. We need that form filled out from you by end of day Tuesday, um, because obviously uh, it's getting late in the year for us to have um, renewal and health insurance for everyone on January 1st of 2023. Um, Okay, so I think that's it there. Oh, and then uh, I wanted to say 
thank you to everyone. And Brandon can speak a little bit more on this, but yesterday we had, so H&I is our insurance agent and the insurance we go through is Acuity out of Sheboygan. And the underwriter for our insurance policy was here yesterday doing their annual visit. And he was more than satisfied, more than pleased with what is happening here, um, all the processes, the things that people are doing, the safety scores and results. And um, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, so it's a big deal uh, for him to his, uh, you know, when we got done, he said we, we, we passed with flying colors, which, which is just to say that everything's in order and everything's the everything is the way that um, it should be from his perspective. Uh, it's a big deal because it allows us to keep the, insur the insurance premiums down, which allows us to pay more, um, you know, and be more competitive uh, on the rates to our customers, which, you know, creates a, what we're doing, what we're doing now. So it is a big deal. On the health and, and health insurance uh, piece, I just wanted to throw in quick that uh, a couple of you have talked to me about um, the current program. I told you I would fix it or we would fix it. it we would not be in this situation again. Um, and that is, you know, the, now there's kind of a, a, what might feel like a little bit of a rushed effort, but we're doing our due diligence to make sure that you are not in a situation and your family's not in a situation where you feel like you have either less than, than ad adequate coverage or you're paying too much or both. So we were presented with a couple options and they're just not good enough. So we're going to, we're going to, um, you know, uh, look at this third option we th we feel like it's going to be the answer um, but that means we have to you know w um, uh, get this information back to them so that they can you know in turn come back to us with with quotes before the before the thanksgiving holiday um, so please be proactive if you have any questions even if it's over the weekend communicate with us and we'll, we'll you know we need to get it taken care of so and so uh, yeah i forgot to mention this at the bottom of the form fire email and form it are two phone numbers of people at H&I that are ready to answer questions should you have them. So you're filling out the form and you're like unsure of how you should fill something out. That's what those are for as well. Or obviously call us. If you do, if you do plan to take insurance through the company, be as thorough as you possibly can. If you don't, like you said, there's, there's a, there's a waiver. Um, but whether you do, whether you're going to take it or not, you still, every employee still has to go on there and fill this out before we can move forward. And the, mm -hmm. so that's it for me. Um, you had the tank wash. Just yeah, just the, uh, the tank wash here week after next, which would be the week of Thanksgiving. We, the tank wash will be open Monday and then close Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of Thanksgiving week. They're gonna redo the floors for us. I had mentioned to, uh, that to you before. Uh, it's still on as, as scheduled. And then we'll be open Saturday, Sunday, Monday, closed again Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, potentially Friday for the rest of uh, the completion of um, the, the new system in the tank wash. So we're looking forward to all that. Um, we actually have a, an initial audit with Cargill coming up at the end of next week. Uh, to where they're gonna, you know, basically see if we can take the next step in getting Cargill certified, uh, which is it's it's a big deal. It, it's a big deal for tank washes to be to be Cargill certified. After that, like I said, we're gonna pursue JPA Juice Products Association and then um, a couple more. So this is the first uh, stepping stone, and we're looking forward to it. So if you're wondering why you can't go up to the tank wash anymore, that's a big part of why. So. Thank you all. Have a great day. Yes. Thank you for being safe. Thank you for doing what you do every day. We really appreciate it. Um, it it's obviously a, a wonderful thing. We're uh, so thank you. Yes. Thank you guys. Bye.